time you walk into a supermarket, you're gonna go straight into the vegetable and fruit area. Because as you probably know, all this material requires minimal packaging and they make maximum profit out of it. That is how some, some items were sold each and some items were sold by the kilogram. They do this deliberately so that they make it hard for you to compare value. You know, if you're going to have to work out each or kilogram, it's hard when they mix it all up. Inside of a supermarket, you will also never see uh, windows or clocks. You'll never be able to look outside the window of a supermarket because they don't want you to be aware of the outside world, that there is something on the outside world, and they don't want you to know what time it is. So they're not going to put a clock on the wall. It's all about keeping you in here, spending money in here. Here's a little trick I learned from Jamie Oliver, which is looking at sausages and looking at the meat content. You want to have a meat content of ideally 70% or higher. Now, I don't know if that's going to focus, but that actually says pork 84% where my thumb is. Pork 84%. So that's okay. Now let's have a look at these ones over here. Breakfast sausages. So again, where my thumb is, meat, meat 65%. Again, it's not focusing because the camera's too close. But uh, 65%, so not quite so good. And if you go all the way down the spectrum to the very cheapest, nastiest sausages, you'll find uh, meat with a, uh, sausages with a content of, uh, meat content of um, 40%. Don't buy those ones. Ideally 70% or higher. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about when I say low quality meat. Meat, 49%. That's the cheap nasty stuff. Don't buy that stuff. Be wary of anything marinated. They do this to old meat so that it's gonna sell. It's even discounted. So behind me there, that's the far corner of the supermarket. And guess what's there? The milk and the eggs. No surprises there, right? Mmm, alcohol, beer. Oh, look what we have here. I've had many Americans tell me, do not buy this beer. This beer has been described to me as like sex in a canoe. Fucking close to water. It's not a good beer. I've tried it. Don't get this beer. I don't know whether you see this in America, but in New Zealand you see this all the time. Nestle reduced cream next to onion soup. The reason is you put these two together and you get dip for your chips. Here's a common misconception. Orange juice. Healthy, right? Wrong. These are incredibly high in calories. This one liter bottle here has about 420 calories. It's like eating a bunch of chocolate bars. If you're counting calories, don't drink this. There's lots of other little tricks that supermarkets use, like the old infamous two for one deal and discount, reduced to clear, all those kind of things. But this was just a quick walkthrough. You might have picked up something that you uh, didn't know before, so hey, leave a comment. See you later.